Hey friends, welcome to Tech Harvesting with Nasil. In today's video, we are going to change our website, which was looking like this. The last video, where we had learned about H6, H1, H2, H3, H4, all those heading tags and the paragraph tag. And we're going to make it look like this. So what we are adding is that we are adding a few links in here to contact us and all those things. And we are also learning about the BR tag to insert line breaks. Like if we didn't have the BR tag, it's all going to be in one line. And also we're going to learn about the, the anchor tag, which is our main tag, which we're going to focus on in today's video. We are going to add links. We are going to have links to websites. We can mail to links. And we're also going to have tell links, which is telephone links. So to call us. So that's what we're going to do. And let's get started. So first, uh, I've taken the previous project. So if you have not there in the previous video, you can go ahead and check that out. It's there in the description. And also, I'll link it up in the cards. So. Um, Let's uh, start by giving an anchor tag. So what an anchor tag? What's an anchor tag? An anchor tag is just a tag which helps us go to another website or maybe call or even uh, mail to links. So let's do that. It's like a link tag, but it's not a link tag. There's another tag called link tag, which is a different job. So first, let's go ahead and add this anchor tag. So this might pop up in here. That's something we need. But first, let's go ahead and do the other things. So this is the eight the anchor tag or the anchor element altogether. So let's go ahead and give my YouTube channel. Okay. So now if you go here, we have this, but if you click that, it's not going to take us anywhere because we have not given it where to go. So this thing in here is called an attribute, which helps us to um, give more options to the HTML tag that we're using. Currently, it's the A tag. So the attribute that it took is the href means it's gonna uh, it's like asking us where should it go if we, if anybody clicks on it where should it take us to so the href is gonna help us do that so what we can do is to go ahead and give a link to our YouTube channel so I'm just gonna copy that. And also, I'm going to go ahead and paste it in here. So now, one important note is that when I did this for the first time long back, um, it didn't work for me because I had not included this HTTPS and stuff. So you should always include the protocol. So HTTPS or HTTP colon slash slash and your link. So this is the link to my YouTube channel. If I go here, and now if I click on it, it's going to take me to my YouTube channel. So that's what we did. What we did now, we have given a text in here, which we want to be rendered in there as the link. So this is what we can see in here. And here we can see the place where it's going to take us to. So that's what we did right now. The next thing is we could add another link maybe. So let's add um, a line in there and A. We want to take it to my website. So HTTP colon slash slash www dot Oh, that's a small mistake in there. HTTP. www.techharvesting.in. That's my website. And let's add in there the text, my website. So now let's see how it looks. Let's go here. It shows that. If you click in there, it's taking us to our website. So now a thing that I noticed is that it's all stacked in here. So this is my oh, YouTube channel, my website. They're all in one line. And it's the BR tag that can help us in here to make them into separate lines. So we can go ahead and type in BR. And we get this. Something that's weird about this tag is that it does not close. It just has a single tag. And we had discussed about this in the first video of the series. There are two types of tags, the opening and closing ones and the ones that only open the ones that open and close are called the container tags as we discussed and this is um, not a container tag it's an empty tag because this just opens and does not close so we have now done about uh, the the br tag and we are also done about the anchor tag now another thing about the anchor tag is that we want somebody to mail to us or something so what we can do is go ahead and add a mail to link what this does is just helps us mail someone. So you can see this href again. We are telling it whom to mail. We're going to do mail to colon. What is this? This is the eight. This is kind of like a protocol, but not actually a protocol. 
So this is the HTTP protocol. We're giving that to go to different websites, HTTPS, HTTP, all those things. Mail to helps us go to um, mail. So if you click on a mail to link, it's going to open up your default mail application and helps us send mails. So right here is mail to, and we can give the email address. So maybe my email address. So that's there. And we can give here mail me. So now if you go here, we have this mail me link and it's not yet in the next line because we have to include the BR tag. So let's do that. Now if you go here, it's in the next line. If you click in there, it's going to open up your mail application. So I don't add an account, so it comes there. So it's going to open up the mail application if you click on the mail to link. So if you click, if you hover over it, it's going to show you in a browser where it's going to take and it shows this mail to and your email address where you want to mail to. Awesome. Now we have learned about the HTTP links, uh, which takes us to different websites, the mail to links, which take us to mailing applications, which we can mail through. And we have also learned about the BR tag, which helps us into the line break. The last thing is the telephone, uh, telephone, um, the kind of like telephone links. So what this does, it helps us to contact us. So click here a new anchor tag and this anchor tag has the attribute of href as the others and the href is going to have the value of tell colon and your phone number you should always include the um the country code also which is very important so you can just do that and you can do a random number i'm going to give that as my number so if you go in here if you go here if you refresh it may not show anything because i've not included text in here in the middle of the tag so Let's go ahead and give the text maybe uh, I, no, not I, <laughs> my phone. Call me. And it's not going to be the same line. I just told you, you have to be the BR tag that's going to be given. So now if you go ahead, it's in the next line. So now if you click in here, it's actually going to launch your application if you're on the mobile. Right now I'm in the laptop, I can't call or anything, so I'm just going to cancel it. So that's it for this video. We had discussed about the anchor tag and the BR tag, the three types of links, which are the HTTP link, which helps us go to different websites, and also the um, mail to links, which helps us go ahead and mail to someone. So it's a very useful link, and also the tell link, which helps us to call someone from the links. So that's the I want to show for this video, as I told you. Um, do, do not forget to like, share, subscribe to my channel for more amazing videos, share to your friends, and so bye, let's see you in the next video.